with technology evolving um, and going forward in the automotive space the legacy uh, players in the automotive industry OEMs and suppliers also have to move uh, accordingly and alter their business strategies enter into new spaces to discuss more on this we have with us Mr Suresh D who is the CEO of uh, Spark Minda Technical Center and he's also the C CTO of uh, Spark Minda Group thank you Mr Suresh for talking to us uh, thank you. you have your technical centers in Pune and Bangalore. The Pune is the bigger one and yes. uh, uh, the Bangalore, Bangalore is the smaller, is the smaller one. one. Yes. So tell us like how big is the team there? Like uh, what are you working on right now? Because your legacy businesses have been in wire harnessing and uh, locking. locking space, right? Yeah. So with the newer trends like ADAS and technology and SGV is coming up. So what what is the plan like? Tell me what is the plan for this year and if you look for like the next, the near term, three to five years, like how do you see what is the vision for the technical center? Yeah, thank you Subhangi, you know, nice to get interacted with you. Uh, yes, uh, we started this journey about uh, seven years before and uh, when the technology uh, uh, disruption started in India, uh, the promoters uh, and the executive committee of Spark Minda, they sat together and started discussing what next um, and then uh, the opportunity was given to me to start the technical center uh, we started in uh, pune and uh, also in bangalore you know pune being a primary center uh, we have overall around 750 engineers working in various automotive technologies of course you also talked about legacy i think legacy is important because that's a bit and butter for us you know we started with locking systems wiring harness and castings um, that's where our strengths were and uh, we started working on how we transform ourselves in the legacy product into new technologies, which we call it as legacy new technologies. Our priorities for this year is to set up, set up a strong team. As I said, we have around 750 engineers. This year we are going to add uh, another, um, uh, you know, at least 100 to 200 engineers, uh, mainly on the software side because the need for software is uh, kind of an increasing um, uh, day by day. Customers are asking for uh, the quick delivery of the software. So instead of uh, outsourcing certain softwares, we are thinking of doing in-house. So one of the important thing is to set up a, a strong software team in-house. And second is also um, the tech center currently is in a place which is a little bit outskirts of Pune, uh, Chakan and moving that to a new place. We already built our space in Hinjawadi. So, so we have started moving there and uh, we will also have the inauguration maybe later part of this year uh, because we need to completely set up all the test environment, test systems uh, and also people there and then formally call for a kind of inauguration. But now uh, people have started moving in because we want to just use the facility, yeah. get the feeling of it and so on. So the priority is to set up the team, hire the software engineers, set up this new tech center and also acquire pro projects because uh, whatever we did last five, six years, the POCs, the proof of concepts which we have developed, uh, we have started engaging with the customers now started putting on the vehicles, you know, started showing to the customers the benefit our products has. Important is the USPs, you know, uh, unique selling points of these products, you know, start showcasing the customers what are the unique selling points yeah. of these products, you know, and also what kind of uh, uh, problem we are trying to solve, what is the pain uh, the customers or end users facing and which we are trying to find a solution, right. demonstrating that to the customer and acquiring the business is another priority yeah. which we are working on. So you are in the process of transforming to those new technologies. Yes. Uh, could you list out some challenges that you might have faced while you know in this journey uh, to moving there? Yes. So uh, yes, I think very important uh, to recollect is that uh, first is attracting the talent, right? You know, we being an Indian tier one, um, a multinational can attract the talent faster, you know. So, uh, with the Indian uh, tier one name, um, attracting the talent was a bit of a challenge. Of course, we have also solutions for that, you know. We found, I think, uh, most of the uh, young generation now are the new generation. When you talk about attracting the talent, you're talking only about the softwareization uh, domain or on the whole, the talent is a problem? A whole, I would say, software and electronics, if okay. you take these two as a bundle together. Uh, attracting the talent was a cha challenge when we started the tech center, you know, because finally you need to attract the talent from multinationals, right? Because uh, making somebody to start from a scratch to build up the knowledge would take time. Time to market is key for the customer. So, so now we, in order to get these talent from the multinationals or from the rest of the world, so you need to showcase certain USPs of you, you know. Also from the customer side, you know, 
the convincing the customers that uh, we as an Indian tier one can offer a product which is of superior uh, technology, uh, good quality and also uh, a good response time, you know, which customer expects. So this could be another challenge uh, which is, uh, which takes time, you know, you can't solve on the day one when you build a team uh, and you have to make the team a bit more competent because you may not get the people from the same domain which you are working, you know. Sometimes you have to take the people from across domain, develop them, you know, in your domain and then start, they start delivering the results, you know. So convincing the customer, uh, building a contact, customer connect uh, and making the customers to yes, the team can really deliver is a next step, the challenge I would say. Third, I think within the uh, team and the management, you know, so uh, you drive the technology, but also finally you have the business CEOs, they drive the p &L of the company, you know. So changing the mindset from more and more manufacturing into more and more technology, also another challenge, you know, which uh, we are driving it, you know. Um, this just, just doesn't come because you have to prove to the organization that the technology products can really be a growth for the future, you know, fuel for the future. This needs to be demonstrated continuously that to the team. So, I would say these are the few things, you and know, challenges. when you talk about hiring, are you hiring for the Chakan Technical Center or the Bangalore one? So, now we are in the process of moving from a Chakan to Hinjawadi. Hmm. So, we set up a, a tech yeah, center. I mean the Hinjawadi. Uh, Hinjawadi yeah, tech center. We have now a kind of four floor. Um, a dedicated facility with uh, ground plus three, uh, the ground floor fully with the uh, uh, testing facilities and the three floors of office, including amenities, canteen and other facilities they have built up. Um, so the hiring, what I was talking about is for both because certain competencies which we are hiring, uh, which is available in Bangalore and we wanted to put in Bangalore and certain competencies which are available in Pune region, which we wanted to put it. Apart from that, we also have some regional teams, for example, uh, you can't keep all the core team with these only two locations, but sometimes you need to keep also team closer to customers. For example, certain customers are in Chennai, uh, mm -hmm. then sometimes you need to keep certain teams in Chennai, certain customers are NCR region and you need to keep certain teams in NCR as well. Mm -hmm. So we have also a small distributed team, but the core is in Bangalore and Pune. Yeah. And when we talk about SDVs, the software defined vehicles, how do you see the Indian market moving towards that first and how prepared are you, you know, for that market. Yeah, see STVs with respect to India uh, still time to come because uh, I would say this is more on the uh, discussions and the OEM started thinking and some started uh, doing an architecture work. Mm -hmm. I think it would take some more time because uh, when it comes to STVs, you need to have a, a, a good architecture of the vehicle. You need to really foresee what will come in next at least one decade, you know, and because you need to make the hardware modular and software modular. So in order to do that, all the customers are just talking about. I think I would say China is ahead on that. Um, Europe is just started. Uh, India is just following, you know. Mm. So it takes little more time. So um, as I said, I think the change which is happening today in automotive is domain to zonal controllers, you know, uh, which means uh, every domain of a vehicle has a separate uh, microprocessor based uh, device which is handling that and converting from that domain uh, which may have around 10 to 15 domains into one or two in a vehicle is a transformation journey which OEM has to visualize. In order to do that, they need to also make the hardware modular, you know, so because if the OEM is not able to foresee that what kind of features may come maybe next decade, then uh, this is no use, you know, SDVs are no use. But then uh, thanks to the uh, adjacent technologies like Ad ADAS or uh, connected mobility related um, and also the image processing related uh, cockpits, you know, interior cockpits. So, and also vehicle access related. So, all our separate domains have uh, started maturing in India, you know. This is, I would say, first step towards the STV, STVs now. So, if you ask me what is our prepare, preparation towards that, we started working in domains first, you know, we feel that uh, for a country like India, to directly switch into journal will take time, you know, directly move into STVs will also take time. We really have to understand our game, you know, so I, we cannot do everything, you know, so where we have a strength, we want to play with the strength. So in that way, certain uh, areas, certain domains, especially uh, the vehicle access related domains where the STVs will uh, uh, get a lot of influence, we define our own uh, software uh, package, um, a modular package. Similar way, the cockpit area, the cluster to cockpit area where uh, 
um, more and more displays, more and more HMIs are coming, TFT displays, entire uh, pillar to pillar display we call it as in the first row, second row and also uh, kind of vehicle will have a kind of home theatre moving forward. So lots and lots of display, this mm -hmm. comes with the again another software tool chain, you need to make it much more flexible for a OEM, tomorrow OEM wants to change something on the display, they should be able to do it easily. So this is another kind of a domain, so yeah. we try to make these two areas a stronger software. And later on when OEM does the complete uh, journal, easy to plug in, uh, plug out from here and they can port it within their journal. You know. Got it. Just one last thing, uh, you have your research technical centers in Pune and Bangalore. Do you have, do you plan to open any more uh, re technical centers in India or even globally like any plan in the next few years probably? No, I think uh, this is um, a kind of a dynamic world, you know, uh, any every industry should have a agile and a dynamic response, you know, we are uh, calibrating ourselves very fast, you know, uh, some of the new technologies which we are thinking how to acquire, uh, which are available in maybe elsewhere, not in India sometimes and God knows I think international expansion is definitely on the card, but then uh, we need to really study it, you know, mm, uh, again, we can't do everything. Uh, we want to uh, play with our strength. So, we are looking, are you looking for… looking at any inorganic growth opportunities for the international expansion then? So, uh, no, I would not uh, say only international and inorganic connection within even domestic, um, our prime, uh, uh, you know, uh, motto is to first serve the domestic customers, you know, bring the technology on the Indian roads first and then take the technology to global, that is our second phase. So, uh, when you talk about inorganic, yes, for example, I said uh, we are working on certain legacy related topics, you know, for example, uh, locking to become vehicle access, wiring harness to EDS and cluster to cockpit and so these are legacy, makes a legacy transformation. But then there are certain areas where, uh, which are also in our cards, uh, which are the areas which we currently we are not working on, but we see there is a, a, a need of the customer due to the premiumization because uh, you see that uh, with more and more premiumized vehicle coming in, whether in two wheel or LCVs or passenger vehicle, the shift of the uh, um, uh, customers are towards the premiumization, which means um, the vehicle's kit value uh, of individual domains are increasing. Maybe somebody who supplies a one single component, maybe the kit value may be 1000 rupees, but then when he supplies the entire kit uh, as a system, the kit value may increase from 1000 rupees to 5000 rupees. So, the kit value increase we are watching carefully and we are trying to redefine our space with organics, you know, so inorganic related stuff, you know, so which we are working on. This may happen through maybe also a partnerships or, um, you know, uh, joining with uh, the co partner companies. So maybe have you finalized any partner? Um, we are working on it. Hmm. Uh, currently, we are working with… When do we see this happening? How soon? No, I think uh, uh, the, uh, the technology disruption is around the corner, you know, so uh, you will see a lot more uh, sooner because uh, uh, some of the, uh, um, the things which I cannot speak over, uh, you know, uh, openly, but we are working on it. I think um, you will come to know. All right, all right. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Nice, Sanders. Thank nice, you for talking nice, to you. Nice.